Hey guys, welcome back. Another beautiful sunny October day here in Northern Ontario. Uh, we're gonna be looking at a sprinkler that I've been meaning to do for a while now. And uh, it's one of the most popular sprinklers out there actually. It's the Rainbird 5000 series. Now, <clears throat> I have two examples here. The first one on the left is a first generation Rainbird 5000 with the old original 5000 nozzles that look more like a T-Bird nozzle. And the example on my right is the most current model. This is the 5000 Plus, which has all of your features such as the uh, stainless steel riser, the SAM check valve, and your flow shutoff control right in the middle there. So today we're gonna go through these sprinklers, have a little look-see at them. We'll get a couple of them on the, uh, on the old test pipe here and see exactly what they look like. So new nozzle versus old nozzle. I like the old nozzle myself. So. Stay tuned and thanks for coming along. All right guys, welcome back for another sprinkler video. Today, like I said, we're looking at the 5000 series Rainbird. The 5000 series came out, uh, I wanna say late 90s, as a replacement for the T-Bird um, in the professional lineup of uh, irrigation, residential and light commercial irrigation. So we're gonna be focusing on the first generation for our nozzle demonstration here. The uh, nozzle change in the uh, 5000 plus is very very similar and almost exactly the same very very uh, similar to every other type of uh, modern rotary sprinkler we are going to the easiest way is to take the cartridge out of the case obviously and on a brand new rotor you're obviously going to not have a nozzle in there so the rainbird nozzles come on this nice tree here a couple of them are missing but <laughs> i have most of them so you want to select the nozzle that best suits your application. So um, for like a quarter circle or half circle application, you're going to want like a quarter circle would be more like a 1 or 1 1.5 GPM. Half circle can be anywhere from 2 to 3. really depends on the area that you're irrigating and how many irrigation uh, heads you have on your, your zone. So today we're going to go with a 2 GPM nozzle. So really simple, you just pluck it off there, turn it a couple times pops right off. This is just installing a new uh, nozzle in a new sprinkler. Super easy. Just make sure that your retention screw is all the way backed off. You take your nozzle, you line up the top of the retention screw, take your thumb, nice firm push, pushes that nozzle down in there. Having a little bit of difficulty with this one apparently. Sometimes when they're new, it's really hard to get a hold of them. I found a nice easy way. I might take you off camera just so I can get some leverage here. Note to self, make sure your new sprinkler has uh, no extra plastic in the nozzle opening there. Had a little overhang right here was preventing the nozzle from going in. But there we go, so all I did off camera was I just put that on my knee, pressed in really hard, and you can see it is now recessed in the nozzle groove. To retain this nozzle, you're going to come to the top of the cap here, right where the little arrow is. Flathead screwdriver or the Rainbird adjustment tool. You're going to turn that until you see the screw come down into contact or if you want to diffuse the stream into the stream there. So that nozzle is now installed, not going in. So once you're done with the nozzle guys, you're going to simply insert the rotor back into its case tighten her all up she's ready to go this is the full circle model so there's no adjustment I know there's an adjustment thing there but to adjust the arc you just stick your flat screwdriver in there or your rainbow adjustment tool and you can see the plus or the minus to increase the arc these are fixed left stop sprinklers guys so the left stop is not adjustable you're adjusting the right stop. Turn clockwise increases the arc, counterclockwise decreases the arc. I'll show you on the 5000 plus, uh, 5000 plus series rotor here. So let's get these on the, uh, the test pipe and do some real demonstration.
This is the first generation Rainbird, guys. See the nozzles are really like the old style T-Birds and R50s. They really diffuse the water nicely. This is a quite uh, this is quite a fast moving rotor. This is the full circle rotor. You can really see the rain curtain action and how much it really diffuses the water. You don't just get one single stream that comes out of these nozzles. You get a whole bunch. Let's shut this guy off, get the newer Rainbird on that we can uh, adjust the arcs. So we don't have to keep moving so much. And we'll go through some uh, arc adjustments as well as the cool slip clutch feature that these have. These are by far my favorite nozzles. The first generation Rainbird 5000. Okay guys, we've got the Rainbird 5000 Plus on the riser here. I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to install a nozzle in the 5000 plus now these sprinklers have flow shutoff control so in this middle section right here see how it shows the flow no flow so we're going to go ahead stick our rainbird tool down in there turn it clockwise to shut it off you'll hear it click now watch what happens when i turn on the water guys that riser pops up there's no nozzle in this sprinkler there's no water coming out of it. This makes it super, super easy to install a nozzle. So what I have here is a three. So just like the Rainbird 5000 original series, press in until you hear it recess. Take your screwdriver, find the little groove. It's hard to do with one hand. You're going to turn this screw down until it interfaces with the nozzle. So we're going to keep turning. This is a brand new sprinkler, guys. So never seen a nozzle before. A little bit more. There we go. See that little screw there? We are ready to rock. Another cool feature about the Rainbird 5000 is the uh, slip clutch technology that they have. Now, this is the Achilles heel of the sprinkler in my opinion. It will stop working, so just use it sparingly. With the rotor turned off like this, you don't want any water pressure or anything coming through the nozzle. You can actually go to the left stop and keep turning it. It will not strip the gears, it's called a slip clutch. You could go to the right stop and keep turning it and it will not strip the gears. All you're doing is you're moving that arc right or left to find the edge that you want. You always want to find your left edge with the Rainbird 5000 guys. It is a left edge hard stop sprinkler. So you go all the way to your left. That is going to be your non-adjustable point. Line that up with your landscape. Let's make it go up the hill here. So we're going to keep turning it to the left. Mind you, we're still on the left point until we're pointed up the hill. That's gonna give us 180 degrees. If we wanted to adjust that arc, you come to here, counterclockwise, decreases the arc. Let's see how much we just moved that. So we just adjusted that by about 30 degrees. Let's go a little bit more. There. So now what we can do, we have that nozzle in, turn on the water. Isn't that cool, guys? So that's the three GPM nozzle. Okay, so what if you don't have a 5000 series plus rotor? We're gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> turn the water off first. That's gonna recess the riser. Another cool feature of the Rainbird is the hold is the pop-up hold-up tool. So you notice in the top of the cap, this is a standard on all 5000 series rotors. You need the Rainbird tool to do this. A flathead screwdriver will not work. 
you find this little opening that looks like the rainbird tool you go straight down with it turn it by 90. that is going to lock that tool in with this in the ground i'm going to have to step on this to stop it from coming up but look what i can do i can lift that riser right out of the ground you would then grab it grab the riser with your channel locks or your hold up tool or even your hand do your nozzle install let the riser back down turn it again take it out i much prefer the uh the shut off so once again if it's a new rotor or an old rotor too shut the water off turn it on pops up the riser no water coming out pretty neat isn't it and the slip clutch coupled with that is a uh, is a pretty neat slick sprinkler so let's get some video of this guy in operation and that is going to be your rainbird 5000 series plus introductory video I might do a more in-depth um, video of the in inner workings uh, next year but it is getting colder we are going to be limited on time so let's get some good video of this sprinkler in operation <laughs> Okay guys, thanks for joining me for this brief video of the Rainbird 5000 and uh, stay tuned, lots more to come and I appreciate all the support and don't forget the, uh, about the other channels, if you haven't head over to uh, Murr Farms and Antique Sprinklers and uh, Photo Control, uh, there's a few other ones that I'm forgetting to name but uh, support those guys too if you haven't already. Alright, we'll see you on the next one guys.